Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Today I have a review of the Chasm from Layer Infinity. Layer Infinity is one of our fabulous sponsors for Fixed Axle February. If you are not participating in this really cool contest, it's, it's not too late. Every week we have a series of four new tricks and for every trick that you enter, you get a name in the raffle. One of the raffle prizes is going to be a Chasm. So here's your review of it. Here's hyping you up. If you don't know much about this yo-yo, uh, hopefully this motivates you to enter. In addition to the weekly contest, we also have an overall contest of a one minute freestyle artistic performance. So I'm looking forward to seeing some entries for that for those who wanna kinda push it a little bit more and we have some awesome judges for that and all that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll have a link in the description to my original video talking about uh, all the rules and all that stuff. Anyways, awesome, awesome stuff. So this is not directly a fixed axle yo-yo, but it can become one. Uh, and so it is a bearing yo-yo, it's meant to be responsive, uh, but it has bearing locks, right? So before I get into that, let's talk about like what it came with in the, in the package. It has a little drawstring bag with their logo on it, which is really nice. Uh, in addition to all that, it came with a string, has a sticker, has a little uh, personalized note on his business card, which is really nice as well. Uh, and then it also has these bearing locks, and it has a couple of them. It, mine came with three, and it also has a replacement bearing post. Uh, so if you, if you lose that or something like that, it has a replacement for that, as well as a bearing little removal tool, all right? And this is a unusual size bearing. It's a B size bearing, which I don't think I've ever messed with anything with a B size bearing. I could be wrong on that. Uh, so it's a little bit unique in that sense. We will go ahead and take this yo-yo apart here uh, in just a minute uh, just to kind of show you uh, what's going on here. But if you don't know anything about this yo-yo or anything about layer infinity, uh, he 3D prints everything, and so really cool. I think the first exposure I had to his work uh, were his uh, yo-yo stands, like little like you know uh, desk kind of stands, and they pivot as well. Uh, really cool, um, like a lazy Susan kind of thing. All right, so again, 3D printed, and I don't have a ton of experience with 3D printed yo-yos um, from the few that I saw early on, kind of like when 3D printing was really starting to take off, there were a couple different makers out there trying to do different things, and it seemed like there wasn't a lot of success in actually creating a yo-yo that didn't have, that was really playable, rather, right? And what he's done is really made really playable yo-yos. Uh, he has some really cool other things that he has on his site, so definitely check that out. Uh, but here, we're talking about the chasm, let's stick to the review for this. So again, B-size bearing, right? Um, and then it has the bearing locks. Now for this review, I'm actually not going to mess around with it, uh, with the uh, bearing, uh, sort of the, the, the responsive sort of aspect. Again, you can kind of take a guess what that is. Um, I kind of did that with the Ali Brihe as well. Since I've picked this up, and again, maybe because it is fixed axle February, I've been playing this strictly as a fixed axle yo-yo. And so I feel like that's what I'm confident in talking about, and I feel like that's really where I'm really enjoying this yo-yo. First off, let's just talk about just the aesthetics of it, because this is a really cool, not just it's 3D printed, that's neat, but the design of this, okay? You have these sort of like transparent sort of windows. They're not caps in the sense that you could take these out. Uh, it's, it's in, you know, it's set in there permanently, but we have pink on this side and green on this side, and. I've seen a couple other colorways. I think he had like a, a kind of a grayscale one at some point as well, which if he ever has those in stock, I'm gonna scoop one of those up. But yeah, white base and then the pink and the green. I think right now he has options where you can get it in one solid color or mix and match. I like the mix and match. And I'll tell you why, because for tricks like varials and things like that, which is one of next week's tricks, uh, anytime you're moving the yo-yo around, it gives you an extra visual uh, thing that whenever both sides are different colors, um, it, your eye tracks it differently. Okay, kind of like in Kandama, whenever you have, you know, maybe a color on the bore, uh, you know, for the Tama, it, it just, you can track that with your eye better. And so I think it's a really good option here. Uh, it looks cool, but it also kind of aids in tricks in some subtle way. All right, let's go and actually take it apart and I'll show you kind of what the internals look like because it's really cool of what he's done here. So it's a high wall, really what it is. Um, now the bearing, you'll see the bearing uh, blockers uh, in here and they pop in. Um, you'd have to kind of get a little bit of a pin to kind of pull those out. Uh, but 
It's ever so slightly recessed in here on the wall, but it is very much a high wall. Um, yeah, B-size bearing, which is kind of maybe a little unusual <laughs> as far as its size. It looks kind of maybe between like a, a C and D size and diameter, uh, but I could be wrong on that. And then around there, we do have the bearing seat. So you do need to have that in place. That's necessary. And again, it has a spare on that as well. And uh, yeah, really, really solid build here. And the 3D print itself has a little bit of a, um, you know, it, it's smoother, right? You can feel the edges there. Um, it's really well done. Um, again, I'm no expert at 3D printing. I've never done it myself. Uh, I think it's really, really cool for those who can and those who have the ability. But uh, it's not tacky is what I'm saying here. So for a plastic fixed axle yo-yo sometimes that's really helpful to not have sort of a tacky feel for some tricks like tape measure for instance like this last week's trick uh, this is not going to sort of stick to the skin so to speak all right so that is the construction of this yo-yo the chasm it's really nice really just again like high tier 3d printing and not only that it just it's just well designed uh, as far as what you'd want in a fixed axle uh, it's it's a a little bit wider it's got that high wall you're gonna have a lot of control um it's not too wide as well so like maybe if you're working on you know things like shoot the moon whatever which by the way shoot the moon with a wider yo-yo uh it can be a bit of a challenge um now the other thing too i've put both bearing locks on this uh, i don't think you technically had to put both i did try it with one at one point and it locked up the bearing just fine uh but it gave it I feel like putting both in, one on each side, kind of allowed it to have ever so slightly more of a gap. Just just like such a minuscule amount that the response was perfect with my prestige string. All right, so that's what I have in here. It is sort of a metal axle now, and so I don't really feel like it's a problem having you know something that's not fully cotton string, so it's not gonna wear down like that. And uh, the edges on this and all that for that higher wall hasn't worn my string down at all. Um, it's, it's really nice and smooth, okay? So yeah, um, so things like shoot the moon, oh, I'm, I'm in a tree, <laughs> are, are gonna be fine for a yo-yo like this because uh, it's not so, so wide that it can't like, you know, loop okay and that kind of thing. Um, but it's gonna be wide enough that you can do you know back of the hand stalls and so on like with it right so it's it's kind of a perfect diameter for me so the response on the chasm set up as fixed axle is absolutely perfect as far as like predictable i'm never really feeling like i'm having to second guess it um yeah i can have pretty short stalls and i still have enough control with the uh, actual uh response there i've not had to add anything to this string as far as wax or anything like that and uh, it's done really really well so when you're doing tricks like that like kick flips whatever i mentioned that the dual colorway is really really nice burials are the same way i can definitely just track that a little bit better right with i can see both colors and i can know that okay i've done an actual full like 360 turn for instance right and um because i'm like starting with pink on the back and i'm landing with pink towards me if i could actually hit one uh man burials are tough uh that's gonna be one of those tricks this week by the way uh so uh if you want to work ahead there we have kick flips and burials as part of that uh, we also have uh one of my favorite tricks which is a dump trucks it's one of my favorite tricks so yeah this this yo-yo as far as fixed axle and what kind of tricks you want to throw at it with the response, the shape, and all these other things, it just kind of nails it, right? I, I can't really think of a downside with this yo-yo um, because it's plastic and has that little bit of a more of a, you know, that less tacky feel. It's gonna do tricks like that really well. I've had a lot of fun with this yo-yo. The weight's really good. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. And as far as, I mean, anything, right? Whether it's 3D printed or just plastic, it's just a good yo-yo. And so I think it, surprised me how good it was honestly you should definitely check out his stuff um i will be checking out a lot of his other things as well uh, he has just some really cool ideas and concepts out there as well so definitely check him out check out layer infinity one of our great sponsors for fix axle february all the details for that too 
and join the fun. It's been a lot of fun. For those who have been joining, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, let's keep it up. All right, let's move on to week three now. That's what's going on now, it's crazy. This month's gonna be over before we know it. All right, that's gonna do it for my review of the Chasm from Layer Infinity, one of our fantastic sponsors for Fix Axle February. And until the next one, stay fixed. Later.